it's Miranda, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe, become a member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today I'm pretty stoked because we're talking about a limited edition product just released by NYX, and that is their new, whoa, we're falling. These are the new limited edition Love Out Loud Cream Lipsticks from NYX for fall. So these just came out for the fall season. Again, they are limited edition, so if there's anything you see in this video, you're definitely going to want to go out and get it while you can. And the Love Out Loud kind of theme is a little bit empowering. All the shade names have like a powerful quality to them. And as you can see, we do have two neutral shades, but the majority of this line is louder and bolder and really uh, very fall. I don't know about you, but I tend to get a little bit more daring when it comes to fall makeup. It's kind of that time of year where you can step outside the box and get into those really deep, um, stand-out lip shades. So while Lord knows my collection does not need more liquid lipsticks, I overrule. And I say yes, they do, because these are great, especially for the season of, you know, bold color and exciting looks. So before we get into my official review, let's just go through all the shades. Let me show them to you and swatch them live on the lips. So this is the shade Confident. So I usually don't wear nudes this light because while I like the look, especially because it does have a little bit of that peachiness to it, um, I usually can't find formulas that are pigmented enough to cover the natural color in my lips. But this one is so opaque that you don't see any streakiness, so it actually really works. This is Brilliant. I'm a huge fan of mauve lip tones like year round, but I do like how this one has a little bit more purpley to it, so it does kind of bring you into fall. It's a little bit more sultry without going too vamp. Even though it has that purpley to it, it's neutral enough that I can see this working with a lot of different makeup looks. This is Fearless. This might be my new favorite lipstick ever. Um, this is, first of all, like my favorite color. Lilacs and lavenders are my favorite. Uh, but I've never found a lilac lipstick, especially at the drugstore price, that goes on so opaque and not streaky so that it doesn't end up looking just dumb. But this looks so bomb. I'm so freaking excited to wear this literally every chance I get. This is passionate. So right off the bat, this color looks like a tad more purple than the tube does. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more on the mauve side, um, but that's okay, actually holding it up, it's a pretty good match. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this color. It's definitely more um, leading into that vampy territory. If you pair this with like a smoky eye, you are in sultry land, my friend. So yeah, I can definitely see myself rocking this this fall for sure. This is extraordinary. This color is exactly what I thought it would be, honestly, just looking at the tube. It's a very vibrant violet, um, really cool for those bold looks. I would probably wear this with a neutral eye or where this is gonna be like the main, main focus because it is bordering on that like bright in your face type of shade. Um, but yeah, I love it, I love it, I can't say enough. This is Brave. 
Well, I think it's all in the name. This is definitely a brave shade, but I'm in love with it. It's like kind of a bluish purple. It really looks more like on the indigo side. And this was the only one that gave me like the littlest problem with going on just a little, or drying down, I would say rather, um, a little bit patchy where I had to go back and kind of fill in a little bit. But other than that, now that it's like nice and even, Holy cow, this is so gorgeous. This is another one where I think at the most I would go like this heavy on the eyes because it's definitely a statement shade, but this would look awesome with some smoky eyes and just do like a full on pseudo goth kind of vampy look. Oh, I love it. So we're back and I've put back on Fearless because like I said, it's my new favorite lipstick ever. So the other day when I tried these for the first time, I wore Brilliant for a couple days in a row just to kind of get a feel for the application and wear time. Brilliant is one of those great everyday shades because it does add a really nice blush color to your lips, um, but it's not really statement. So you can match it with a lot of different looks. So first off, um, as you can probably see from the live swatches, I do like to overdraw my lips just a little bit and when I'm not using a pencil, which I don't really like to use pencils, I like to just one and done, use the product that I'm using on my lips and not have to worry about juggling stuff. So it's very helpful when a lip product has an applicator that is dual purpose. So because you do have this flat edge, you can really get in there and get precise with the lines of your lips. So it helped me overdraw my cupid's bow a little bit and get right under the bottom lip. But also because you do have that oval tip and the um, long flat edge, you get a lot of good surface area to deposit product with. Also, I noticed that all the way up until the last shade, which was Brave, where I had to go back and kind of fill in a little bit, I did not have to double dip with these at all. So this picture picks up the perfect amount of product so that you can get your entire lip, your entire application without it being too much as well. The formula of these are creamy. It is a cream lipstick, so it does go on pretty cushy. However, as it dries down and throughout the day, I started to forget that I had lipstick on. They became very lightweight and pretty unnoticeable. In fact, I started to actually like mush my lips together just kind of out of a nervous habit. And then I would remember like, oh crap, I have lipstick on. And I would rush to look in the mirror to see if I completely ruined it and it looked perfectly fine. So that was really good to know that once it was set, um, even if I, like I was literally mashing my lips together and it looked undisturbed. I wonder if this is set enough where I can kind of demonstrate. Let's hope so. Yeah, fine. <laughs> So on top of it feeling very weightless as the day went on, um, I didn't need to touch up. I ate a sandwich, I was drinking water all day, and I experienced very, very little transfer. I mean, like only the smallest little color left on like my glass, but as far as the lips, it didn't look like any had rubbed off at all. In fact, this is like one of the very, very few liquid lipsticks, cream lipsticks, where I didn't feel like it was fading from the inside out super quickly. Like, you know, you always get that fading right on the wet part of your lip because obviously it's wet, so it's not going to stay. But this is one of those lipsticks where you couldn't really tell too much that it was doing that. And that could have also been the fact that I was testing kind of the neutral shade. Um, but still, there's contrast there and I didn't feel like it looked like I needed to touch up. Now these do dry down to have um, a pretty matte finish. However, they are not drying at all. Like I said, I completely forgot I had them on and my lips just felt comfortable. Weren't dry, wasn't tight or anything. Um, and what I like about this as well is that they don't look tight or they're not like accentuating the lines of my lips because they do have that creamy consistency so I feel like it kind of fills in the lines of the lips it's not accentuating that so that's also very important when you're dealing with some of these like bolder shades where people are going to be looking at your lips so there's really not much else that I can say besides I really like this collection I'm very much enjoying it and again limited edition so if there's a shade here that you think would work really well in your collection or just you know you're feeling an itch to step outside your normal comfort zone grab them. They're $6.99. They're available at Ulta Beauty right now. I will leave the link below with places you can find them. Um, I'm very, very, very happy that I got these. So yeah, long wearing, hella pigmented as you have seen, and they're comfortable. So it's basically everything I like in a liquid lipstick, and they are very much welcome in my collection, even though I'm overflowing with liquid lipsticks already. If you want to see a fall makeup tutorial based on one of these shades, let me know which one in the comments below. If 
you're loving this collection as much as I am, hit the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Become a member of the Slashed Squad. If you've done that, I love you. So proud of you. But have you hit the bell button yet? Get notifications every time I post so you never miss a video. I make new videos every Saturday, sometimes in the middle of the week too, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!